Okay, welcome back to this modeling series. In this video, I'd like to start animating this character. So we need to set up some bones for this. So firstly, we have our image planes. We don't need them anymore, so I'm going to delete them. Okay, or you could hide them in another layer if you felt like you need to go back to modeling, but we don't really need them anymore. And I'm going to set up my bones in a front viewport. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to change my tab here to animation and we can also go to the animation tab if we wanted to. I'm going to um, get the bone tool which is here, or the joints tool sorry, and I'm going to start here in the middle. So this is the middle of the character, it's the, it's the uppermost bone. When I click this joint I'm going to select every single thing that joins onto this. So I'm going to make one here, go down to the knee, go down to the foot, press enter. Okay, going to press G again, start from this joint, going down it's relatively easy to do this in Maya. So, so I'm going to go up to the chest, then again to the neck, and for the head. Okay, so the head can go up and down. Press G again. So I'm going to make one for the shoulder, the elbow, and the hand. Press and enter, and doing this again this side. So going up a tad, then coming back down. Cool. So let's see what we have in the front view. I'm going to select the, this one. Okay, let's expand this out. I'm going to go to show grid. Okay, so we just might want to move these in place a bit more. Starting from the uppermost joint. So let's. Okay, so I'm going to go to shading, x ray joints. Now we can see them. I'm going to select these two, bring them back a little bit, select these knees bring them back and the foot also bring them back going down this one's in a really weird position so is this one okay just gonna match it to the other side like so going up getting the chest that can come inwards a tad getting the area where the shoulders join this can come back the head and the head can come inwards. Okay, so I want to make sure these shoulders are going up, and I'm going to make sure these are just going down a bit, and this is going to go down as well. I'm also going to make sure that the elbows, I know that the joints aren't matching the model totally at the moment, I'll explain why. I'm going to make sure the elbows can go back going to bring them back a little bit and the hands can come forward a bit as well because we are now going to add some IK handles so in order for the arms to bend in the right direction this is why I set the bones out like this so they're going downwards slightly and bending where the elbow should bend so this is the IK tool IK handle I'm going to select the shoulder to the hand and now we have an IK handle so we can bend this like so all right, press G, going to do it again. Boom. Let's double check it. We can bend these two joints very nicely. <clears throat> and I'm also going to do this for the legs. So like we did before, I'm going to go down a bit. Going to select these two. Bring them out a tad. Okay, let's go to a welder mode. Bring them out. Get these feet. Bring them in. So in order for the IK handles on the leg to set up correctly, I'm just going to bend this, bend it inwards, tad, make this come out, put this inwards like so. Okay, so in the front viewport, IK handle. Okay, so let's see which direction this is bending in now. So it's bending in the wrong direction. If this is the case, we can go to our attribute editor and the rotate order is X, Y, Z at the moment. I'm going to change it to Z, X, Y and continue to go down until I find one I'm happy with. Y, Z, X. Okay, that looks about right. Um, so let's rotate this around a bit. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's bring it back down. This IK handle is okay. Let's go back and do the same thing for the other leg, like so. 
let's see how this one's bending. I'm going to bring it forward and up. Cool, so this one's bending good, X, Y, Z. Okay. All right, let's double check. Yeah, this one's good. Just making sure the IKs are bending in the right direction. Okay. So now I'm just going to move these back into the place I wanted them to be. We can probably do this best using the viewports. So these are not too bad. The feet, the knees, and the thighs are okay. The main thing is the shoulders, I think. Going up. So I'm going to select these shoulders, bring them down a little bit. And the elbow and the hands, they're fine. So this is our setup complete. All I want to do now is go and name all these. So this can be the head. So this can be the head. And this can be the neck. This can be the right shoulder. We can put an underscore there just to make things a bit more obvious. Right elbow. Right hand. Left shoulder. left elbow left hand upper body this one can be called lower body and again right thigh right knee right foot. This is necessary to do because otherwise in our hierarchy we will not know which joints do what. So left thigh, left knee, left foot. Cool. Okay. Left, okay, handle, left leg. IK okay, handle, right leg. IK okay, handle, left arm. IK okay, handle, right arm. Cool, so this is it. Um, once we're here, we can get the mesh. Let's just call the mesh robot. So, as you can see, rigging a low poly character is very easy to do. Nothing like the very high model, uh, high density models you get in animated films where there's lots of controls to control every single thing. Um, this will be fine in our case. So before I end the video, I'm going to select these two things, go to skin, attach, bind skin, smooth bind. So I'm going to open up these options. You can do lots of different things here, but these settings are good. I'm going to bind the skin. And as you can see now, guys, when we move the arm using the IK handle, um, the whole arm moves, okay, like so. Right, so in the next video, we're going to play with the weights so we can make sure this deforms correctly. But before I do, I'm going to change the position of these hands, just realize they're not very good. So we can, again, get these two things, go to skin, detach skin, boom. I'm just going to open the, up these options. We've got some options here. We can either bake the history, keep the history, or delete the history so the model will revert back to its original position before we attach the, the bones. Just something to keep in mind. So, for example, I can get these two hands, bring them forward a little bit, just so they're in the right position. Okay, that would do. So I'm not very happy with this T-pose. I think the shoulders are too straight. So I'm going to bind the skin again, smooth bind. I'm going to get both the IK handles, bring them down a bit. Okay, so this looks a bit more natural. And also wants the, the elbows to bend a bit as well. So I'm going to bring these in and bend the elbows a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to see what's happening on this side. Um, 
Okay. And this is a more natural T pose, I think. I'm going to bring this one up a tad. So it looks a bit more relaxed. And also, I want the knees to bend a little bit as well. So I'm going to simply do that now. I'm going to bring this up and do the same here as well. I'm going to bring this up. Okay, so this is a natural T pose, very natural. I'm really happy with this. And before we get to animating and playing with the weights, I'm going to bring this whole model down to the origin. So we can go to uh, show grid. Whoops. Okay, so I'm sh and I'm going to bring this down to the uh, to the origin. Okay, I'm going to show the grid in this view kind of line it up to the origin as, much, as best as we can, like so. Cool, okay. Um, so, as I was talking about earlier, when we detach this, detach skin, we can bake the history, okay. So, I'm going to do that this time. Go on, apply. Boom. So, as you can see, the bones have been detached, but the character stays in the position it was when we, when we edited this. Okay, guys, so... Um, Again, just going to bind this, skin bind, smooth bind. So in the next video, we'll play with the weights to make sure the geometry uh, deforms in the correct way. Then we can go to animate this robot. So thanks for watching the video.